I am a 16-year-old girl from Colorado. This encounter took place earlier today, and I thought it was creepy enough to share. There's been a lot of talk about cops and officers of the law abusing their power, and I am not one to claim that all police officers are horrible people, but this definitely challenged my perspective. I was at a retail store, popular enough to remain unnamed, with my mom, brother, and grandmother. I had dropped them off in front of the store and left the park. Walking into the entrance, they were nowhere to be found. I assumed they were already shopping without me. As you walk into the entrance of the store, there are usually two or three claw machines against the wall next to the shopping carts. I love claw machines. I know it's pretty lame. As I was beginning to put my first of $7 into the machine, I could see the reflection of a man approaching me through the glass of the game. I'm quite an awkward person, so any unexpected human interaction makes me jump a little bit. I turned around to see the security guard. He was a young, white male, probably in his early 20s. I hadn't even entered the store at this point, so I was confused as to why he was coming up to me. I couldn't have stolen something or done anything wrong. You will be the first one of the day to win, he said, chuckling a little bit and winking at me. I gave a nervous giggle and turned back to play the game. What's your name? He asked me, taking a step closer. In a panic, I gave him my real name. He was a cop, so why shouldn't I have? After a few moments of awkward conversing and unwanted compliments about my appearance, I decided to leave the machine and start into the store. Do you ever get that feeling where you can literally feel your eyes scanning you up and down? Yeah, that was me. I turned to see him as I walked off, and he looked absolutely pissed. Okay, weird, I thought, but I figured it wasn't a big deal. Okay, so here is where the story gets creepy. I walked around the entire store at least three times. Every three to five minutes, I turn around and see the same security guard, as if he were following me. Of course, it could have been a coincidence. That was until what happened next. I caught him filming me. I can even remember which aisle it happened in. I was looking for a glycerin and galatin for a special FX project when I heard a lady yelling. I spun around to find the security guard with his phone pointed at me, and the lady apparently caught him filming me. As soon as him and I made eye contact, he walked away. I looked at the lady who called him out, and she told me what she saw. She told me that he was filming me, and the video was about 10 minutes long. I didn't know how to react to this, as she walked past me to continue shopping. I didn't see much of him after that. We left the store soon after, but not until I played another couple rounds of the claw machine. About an hour ago, I got a text from a phone number I didn't know. As I opened it, I almost pissed myself. It was a video of me taken earlier today. I blocked the number after showing my parents. We reported the number, but nothing has been discovered yet. So, Mr. Security Guard, you'd better hope we don't meet again. So, just a bit of background information. My name is Crawford, and I'm 19. My girlfriend Lauren and I decided to get a place together in the city. We moved in a couple weeks after we were searching, and there's a security guard there named Phil. Phil was cool at first. He would greet everyone as they walked in, but things took a bit of a turn for the worst and got a bit sketchy. Me and Lauren have an apartment at the very top of the building that looks over the city and you have the pool and the hot tub at the top of the building also. Me and Lauren always go up there around 1 or 2 a.m. just to chill and talk and to have little makeout sessions. Phil comes out and says, what are you two doing up here so late? Lauren can pick up his vibes of people easily and she felt really uneasy around him. I told him we just wanted to see the city at night, and Phil says something that still haunts me to this day. He said, would you guys have sex in front of me? Lauren says the most funniest thing I ever heard. She says, you know there's a website called Pornhub, you can go watch people have sex there. Now will you please just leave us alone? Phil got mad at Lauren and went back in the building. A couple days later, me and Lauren celebrated our one year anniversary and we were heading back to the apartment to have a little bit of fun. 
right in the middle of it all, Lauren screams bloody hell as she saw Phil in the bathroom doorway, jerking off to what we were doing. I called the front desk, and they called the police. The police came shortly afterwards. We explained the entire situation to them, and thank God he lost his job. We still live in the same apartment, but that was probably the creepiest thing that ever happened to me in my goddamn life. So me and Lauren don't watch the news. We really didn't care on what happened to him, because the way he always looked at her, and the way he was standing in her bathroom doorway, watching us was just fucking disgusting, and really uncomfortable. I'm happy we never have to be around that shit anymore.